for example, which could uh, be items that can add a little a level of confusion to this general table here. So the general idea is the standard deduction would be taken if it's greater than the itemized deduction, which is quite more likely these days, considering simplification of the tax code or an attempt to simplify it a few years ago, increasing the standard deductions. The standard deduction amounts are listed on the left-hand side. Single my, uh, married filing separate is the 13850. You can double that to go to married, which kind of makes sense, 27700. Head of household, where you typically need a dependent in the middle, but there's more complexity to that. And one way you can see it is you can go to the plus to the uh, to the 1040 SR and, and that's for uh, tax return for seniors, similar kind of thing, but a little bit different layout of the form. If you go to page four, it gives you your standard deduction chart. So now you have these added adjustments that need to be taking place if the person has one or two of the check boxes. Uh, checked off, which would indicate they're over uh, the 65 or uh, blind, which means you would only have two possibilities if single, but if married, now you have two people, both of which could check one or both boxes, depending on what applies. So you've got the one through four different kind of scenarios of the changes to the standard deduction. And then uh, the qualifying surviving spouse, now they have a marital status, but they're back to just having the two options because one spouse died and and then you've got the head of household where you only have two options because there's one person but there's different amounts because you're head of household instead of single and then married filing separately where now you have four people again but they're filing separate returns all right so let's run some scenarios we'll start off with the basic scenario single and uh not blind or over 65 so we have then a hundred thousand round number on the w-2 income we've got then the standard deduction being pulled in at the thirteen thousand eight fifty. it being greater than the itemized deduction to get us to the taxable income eighty six one fifty. let's mirror that over here on our excel worksheet so we've start back to the starting point w-2 income pulling in from our schedule here one hundred thousand. no adjustments to income standard deduction is being pulled from our table down below and then we've got then the uh taxable the taxable income 86150 that ties out to what's here on the bottom line we let the software do the tax calculation 14266 so I'll just type that in there 14266 we said that withholdings were 12,000 therefore after a slight penalty that they calculated 2309 is the tax owed 2309 after the penalty okay